Hi Pisces, this reading is for you if you are in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. So we'll have two separate spreads in this reading. The first spread, uh, we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you. Then, if the feelings are mutual, in the second spread, we'll see the potential between you and this person. Or, if their heart is with someone else or if there is something else going on, in the second spread, we'll see a new person coming into your life in the near future. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on with the, the person on your mind. We have the Three of Wands clarified by the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the World on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with absolutely any zodiac sign. I can interpret this spread two different ways. Two different ways, Pisces. Scenario number one, um, they are wrapping something up maybe with another person, maybe in a living situation, maybe some, that has something to do with work, so they could come your way. Okay, that's scenario number one. Scenario number two is um, not so happy. They're wrapping things up with you. They're moving on. I'm not gonna get into details as to why they're doing it, but uh, scenario number two, this person is done and they're moving on. Okay. So, here's what I'm going to do. In the second spread, I will ask for a new person coming into your life. So, maybe you will have a choice with this person. If they're coming your way, if they're finishing something with another person or in another situation, they're coming your way. Maybe you'll have a choice between this person and somebody else. Or, if this person is done with you, then obviously in the second spread, we'll be looking at a new person entering your life. But, there, I don't... I, I don't really see a point of you know getting really deep into this spread because in the nutshell this is what's happening like I said this person is done with something or someone then they're moving on and uh, like I said they could be done with you they could be done with something or someone else the six of so but it's done it's a done deal you know we have two ending cards the ten of swords all the way to your left and the world on the bottom of the deck both are ending cards the three of ones the ten of swords is clarifying it is a card of somebody who made up their mind and that's it that is it they're done all right um so let's just leave it at that and uh, move forward to the second spread real quick so here's uh, the second spread, Pisces. This is a new person coming into your life in the near future. We have uh, the Page of Wands clarified by the Fool. We have the Ace of Wands clarified by the Eight of Wands. We have the Will of Fortune clarified by the High Priestess. And we have the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Well, Pisces, um, I got some good news and not so good news. The good news is, yes, you definitely will have this a very fiery individual <laughs> coming into your life and it's gonna get hot and spicy like really hot and spicy you will have a lot of fun with this person and uh, it will be a blast uh, but uh, the not so good news I cannot see like it going all the way with this person it could go all the way at some point in the future it could but not in the foreseeable future However, like I said, in the foreseeable future, you will have a blast with this person. It's, it's just going to be a lot of fun. I can, that I can guarantee, <laughs> right? But if it goes all the way after that, I don't know. Mm, yeah, so we have a very fiery person coming into your life. We have uh, the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck, right? And uh, we actually start with the Page of Wands. And then it was immediately followed up by the Ace of Wands, right? So definitely fire, or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart, or this is somebody who is very passionate, and uh, this person really wants to get the show on the road with you, right? The Page of Wands, it could be somebody who starts flirting with you, maybe that you will meet this person as you're out, or if you meet this person online, uh, or through one of those dating apps, yes, this person is funny. Because they know funny is money. <laughs> All right. They, and the, the page of ones is clarified by the fool, right? The fool could be an Aries you're dealing with. We're in the middle of an Aries uh, birthday season. Um, but the fool is a kind of, hey, let's just have some fun. Let's go here. Let's go there. And uh, see what happens. Let's just be spontaneous with the fool card. Let's just, 
you know, you know, let's just see what happens. Th this is the energy I'm picking up. This is the energy I'm picking up for the most part of this reading, by the way, right? The Ace of Wands in the middle is clarified by the Eight of Wands, same thing. The Ace of Wands, you see how the Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands are holding up a one? That's exactly the one we see in the Ace of Wands, a fire sign indicator, but at the same time, it's a very passionate Ace. Not a very lovey-dovey Ace, but a very passionate Ace, if you know what I mean. The Eight of Wands clarifying that it's a card of a lot of communication and it's also a card of travel. Not necessarily to just one particular destination, but if you do decide to give this person a, sh a shot, you will be going places. You'll be, it'll be a very dynamic with this individual. You know, there could be romantic evenings next to the fire, <laughs> next to the fire <laughs> fireplace, but uh, it's going to be very dynamic. You will definitely, you will not be bored with this individual. At the end, we have the Wheel of Fortune clarified by the High Priestess. Both are major arcana cards, actually. The Wheel of Fortune could be interpreted as multiple zodiac signs. Uh, I usually interpret it as a Sagittarius, right? Sagittarius is a fire sign. But at the same time, it is the start of a cycle. It is the start of a cycle between you and this person, but the nature of the cycle is most likely be based on passion. Passion, right? The High Priestess clarifying that. I don't even know why I clarified the, the Wheel of Fortune. The, the High Priestess is a card of intuition. It's also a card of a secret. Maybe you're going to keep it to yourselves, keep it under wraps, not make it uh, official that the two of you are together. But uh, the High Priestess is your intuition, uh, Pisces, right? So at the end of the day, uh, it's going to be up to you to decide whether you want something like this in your life right now, right? And uh, yeah, I'm not going to do another spread as a, the potential outcome between you two because I think the universe wants you to decide with that High Priestess. Yeah, you will be together with this person for a while. Maybe at some point in the future you can take it all away. Uh, it's going to be up to you, Pisces. I hope all of this makes sense. But uh, yeah, uh, that's what I have for you for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Pisces, have an amazing the rest of March.